over the last 20 years, we've seen a complete blurring of boundaries between home and work, and there's profound implications for that. Everything in life needs a time to rest, to recalibrate. You know, you gotta unplug. Unplug yourself from your social network. Unplug yourself from the technology you use each and every day of your life. can make you happy or tech can make you sad depending how you use it it can't be good or bad so you can never it. don't let tech be the boss of you be the boss of it instead you can stay versatile 25 years ago people left work and that was it Maybe somebody would call you occasionally, but it was rare. Nowadays, there's no boundary. There's no boundary in terms of time or where you are. And so people feel like they have to be on 24 seven. We are not designed for that. And so people are becoming irritable. They're losing interest in their other relationships because they feel like they have to work all the time. Um, they're burning out at younger ages. Our youth is only getting about four hours of sleep. You know, I could say for myself, I'm maybe clocking in at least three hours of sleep, managing my, you know, my personal life as well as my work life and my business. So then, it, you know, it just pulls, it drains from you. Circadian rhythm is the, our biological rhythm that's tied to night and day and we're better able to do certain things during the night and more apt to do certain things during the day. What happens is when you have a lot of artificial light around, whether it's your TV, whether it's your phone screen, it inhibits melatonin production, which directly inhibits your circadian rhythm or your natural sleep cycle. So as a result, people are not getting the right amount of sleep. Oftentimes this actually leads to sedentary lifestyles, which lead to all kinds of issues around obesity, diabetes. When the circadian system is out of whack, we don't know when to wake up, we don't know when to sleep, so we'll feel tired during the day, we won't be at our optimal level of performance, and at night, if we're stimulating our brain with our screens, we're, we're overstimulated and we can't fall asleep. If we can't fall asleep, we're just getting into a vicious cycle of not being rested the next day. When we're not rested, we do easy things like jump back on the internet to perk up our energy level because it's quick and it's easy, and the, the vicious cycle goes on and on. When it comes to, you know, you know, social engagement, when love and sex, things like that, like, I ain't gonna lie, it, it became a lot easier, you know, it's not walking up to the everyday girl and be like, hey, you're hot, can I get that date? Now it's like, hey, I like your picture. Hey, you wanna meet up? Tech is definitely changing the way that people have sex. Tech has changed the way that people actually meet potential sex partners. It's also changed the way that sex partners interact with each other. It's so funny you have your next sex partner by the tip of your fingers. It's so crazy, like I can just swipe you away or I can just press, you know, a thumbs up, say I like you. I think for younger populations or perhaps people who actually don't have a strong foundation of sexual intimacy or experience about the benefits of sexual intimacy with someone else, I think tech can actually be dangerous because it can create a false sense of expectations. The rewards of unplugging are huge. Mainly, you get to plug into reality. You get to pick your face up, straighten out your posture, drive safely, and moderate what information is coming into you, and you get to make real friends with real people and form real relationships and hang in there and work out all the problems, not just throw them away because somebody else popped up on your screen that looks better. So the concern with this virtual reality is it sort of serves as a substitute for people to develop. So they're developing a fantasy online. And what's scary about this is people don't realize they can develop that fantasy in their real life. We are here to build our fantasy life so we can do it. But we can't do it if we're all busy creating a fantasy fake life online. Sometimes we have to stop and take a minute and realize as much as technology is there to help us get plugged in when we can't, when we are together, it's important to say, let's have dinner, let's put the phone away. So it's that balance that I think we need to see happen more in society.